Hello, hello, this is Fernando with your 60 seconds of motivation, inspiration, tips and resources to help you grow your home business. Uh, super excited to be here with you very early in the morning and uh, some great uh, information to share with you. So uh, follow along with me. Today's message uh, is about getting out of debt. As a coach, uh, having now coached thousands of people all over the world from many different companies, um, many different countries, um, one of the common questions I like to ask is, what is the number one thing you'd like to be achieving in your business or your life over the next 6 to 12 months? And very often, actually, uh, probably over 80% of the time, irrespective of the country, irrespective of age, irrespective of uh, social status, uh, marital status, the number one thing that comes up most of the time is, Fernando, I want to get out of debt. And you may be thinking that's a great goal to aim for, to get out of debt. I mean, after all, who wants to be in debt, right? And you might think, well, if I don't have any debt, that means I'm debt free. And if I'm debt free, then I can do many things. Now, I, I proceed to tell them that that's actually the worst goal that you can set. And why is that? I'll tell you why. Because when we think about debt, um, and if you've been following along with me in my messages, you know that I talk about the conscious and the subconscious mind. And so here's the thing. The word debt free or the statement debt free, you might think is good, but the word debt is already anchored deep within. And when you think about debt, immediately you're thinking about anxiety, stress, concern, lack, not enough, uh, maybe arguments in your household with your partner. And immediately that, that word is anchored to a negative feeling. And as you may now know, the subconscious mind or universe actually doesn't respond to what we want. It responds to what we feel. So whilst you may want to be debt free, if what you're feeling is feelings of uh, negative feelings of lack, limitation, frustration, anxiety, fear of not having enough, then we're going to continue to attract more of that. And so there's also a saying that what you focus on expands. So if what I focus on expands, what on earth would I want to focus on debt? when debt's going to expand. We don't want to do that. So it really comes down to asking ourselves a better question. What is a better question that we can ask ourselves that are going to empower us to actually achieve what we want? And so what if you didn't have the debt? Hmm, think about that for a sec. What if I didn't have the debt? What would that make possible for you? If I didn't have the debt, well, maybe if I didn't have the debt, Fernanda, I could go on that trip. Maybe if I didn't have the debt, I could uh, maybe work less hours at work so I could spend more time with my family. Maybe if I didn't have that debt, maybe I could put money aside uh, for something that's important uh, for my family. You see what happens now? Now we start to get excited because now our mind is getting in tune with something that we actually want. Okay? Something that feels great. So... So we want to make a point of thinking, what is it now? So you might be thinking, well, that's ridiculous, Fernando, because um, we can't just ignore the debt. And I'm not suggesting that you ignore the debt in any way. But what I am going to guess is that you probably already have a system in place to be paying off that debt. Every month you're paying off that debt, right? You have a system in place, either from wages, from existing income, where you're putting money aside to take care of that. As much as you don't like it, right, you're still doing that. So what I'm going to suggest that you do is that you continue to take care of your debt or put a, like if you could even put a system in place where you don't have to consciously take the money out and pay it so there's not that emotion uh, attached to paying the debt. Just to have an automatic like direct debit system like a hoover, you know, just hoovers the money across. And in the meantime, all of your energy, all of your attention is going into what it is that you actually want. In, uh, think about that trip, think about you know, that, um, the savings, think about the things that you're actually wanting to achieve. Knowing that universe being uh, working in a lawful manner, 
responds always in the same way, just like uh, just like electricity is always moving from a higher form into a lower form. And this is why people can understand how to work with electricity, because there are laws that are consistent. Same as universe. We just need to educate ourselves on how these laws work so that we can actually use them to our advantage and not to our detriment. So if you have ever thought about getting out of debt and you think that's a great goal, I'm going to invite you to let go of that and start to ask yourself what is a better thing that I can uh, fall in love with as an idea and start to really nurture that, fall in love with that and have a system in place to take care of your debt. Now, um, I hope that helps. I hope that makes a difference. Um, so that's, that's the message for today. So now, if you head over to my blog at fernandoloaza.com forward slash blog, you're going to see on the right hand side, there is a podcast course, uh, called Five Steps to Manifesting Powerful Goals. It's a 70 minute podcast that I recorded inside of a community that I support and coaching that is going to show you and I was going to teach you exactly how to set powerful goals. Um, I'll call it the ABCs of goal setting as I learned from my mentor and teacher, Bob Proctor. And that's going to show you exactly how to set more powerful goals, how to write them in the present, because your subconscious, remember, does not know the difference between what's real and what's not real. And then you're going to start to really make headway towards what it is that you actually want to achieve in your life. So if you found that helpful, I want to invite you to leave me a comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, is that a goal that you had and uh, what are you now going to do? And also share this with someone that you know may be having some difficulty. Because as Bob Proctor says, we're all born rich, sometimes we're just a little short on cash, right? And uh, there's a big difference between being broke and being poor. Being broke is a state, being poor is, is mental, uh, is a mental state. So being, being uh, broke is a physical state at the moment. But having a poor mentality means you're going to continue to attract lack and limitation. And we certainly do not want to do that in our life. So let me just acknowledge some of the people joining with me here. Ingrid, thank you for joining from Brazil. Andres uh, from Florida, good to see you here, Andres. Thanks for joining in. All right, not many more people. It is very early. You can see the sun's breaking out behind me there. All right, it's a beautiful morning. Very cold, but very beautiful. I hope this message makes a difference for you today. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Share it with someone. Head over to my blog. Have a look at the resources. And uh, make sure you set to see us first at Fernando Loaiza Live, which is my page. This is I'm broadcasting this on my personal profile, but on my page you'll be able to uh, uh, get any other content that I share on a daily basis that's going to help you win your game. All right, be blessed. Take care. And I'll speak with you real soon. Bye for now.